How you doing, sexy motherfuckers on my channel? Came to the right place today, cause today I'm doing my story video. If you don't know me, I will get you to know me. If you heard of me and judge on other people's opinions, suck a dick. These are my stories. You're either gonna judge or laugh, but I'm pretty damn sure you're gonna judge, cause these stories are pretty fucked up. Let's get started. Got another story. This is in yearbook, right? Me and my friend, we had to go shoot a photo shoot of volleyball. Varsity volleyball, bro. This shit, I would take the job instantly. Like that, bro. Bro. Damn, bro. Them uniforms. At this one point of this task, I guess I was zoomed in too far. And my friend said, what you zooming in on, bro? I said, you know. He finally caught on and said, my nigga, I said, you best believe what I'm doing. He said, what you doing, bruh? I'm zooming in on ass, bruh. He said, no way, me too. I'm like, my nigga, bro. That moment, that fucking moment was funny as shit. Anyways, when I was zooming in, I saw an onion booty. If you don't know what an onion booty, I'ma explain. A onion booty, it's a booty so fucking perfect. You're gonna cry, man. You're gonna cry. And, bro, this booty, it's gonna make niggas drop to their knees. And booty worship that. That's how perfect it was. And the shit that I like in my school, besides the fact bitches fuck for Doritos, they wear yoga pants, man. I remember one time, back in eighth grade, I think, bro, this girl with the Fat as ass, she wore yoga pants. Strike. Don't tell me how I still remember, because that ass, that ass was perfect. So I walked in my friend, we were discussing shit until, man, bro, that girl, this one day, she wore a skirt. You can see that ass uncensored, bro. That shit is a distraction to the class. Hell, even the teacher might look at it, because Bruh, that ass. My friend, his first reaction, oh man, he got a fucking boner. He got a boner in the middle of the fucking hallway. This nigga tried to hide it. He put a duffel bag over his pants. Nigga, I know you got a boner. Bitch, you is nasty. Nigga, you nasty. And that's my, wait, fuck, I'm sidetracked. Damn, what the hell was I saying? Oh yeah, volleyball. Uh. Yeah, I guess that's my volleyball story. Zoomed in on some ass. Exchange moments with my bro, man. Damn. Man, your book, bro. You're gonna have stories, man. You might think it's for weird ass people, but bro, it's a good excuse to get out of class. If you want to go somewhere, you can just leave. You can just walk out without saying shit. You can just leave. Just like that. Boom. That's what I did all the time. I just wander the hallways, man. Just on my phone and shit. You're about, bro. Shit makes memories. Bro, my next story proves why your book sucks dead. This is by far the most fucked up shit I to deal with in my whole career as a yearbook staffer, even though it was only one year, but this shit was nasty as fuck. <sighs> Well, bro, I'ma explain, right? I had to go shoot the anime club. And all you bitches getting all excited? Nigga, you nasty. Nigga, you nasty. Nigga, you nasty. Cause you sure is nasty. I needed the major grade, bro. I was already failing your book. So I had to. I couldn't go shoot it with my friend cause it would've been a hundred times better but damn when I walked in that class in my mindset I knew there would be weird ass people in here and I was right I was right this is what happened when I walked in this bitch walked up to me and said oh are you here to take pictures for your butt no bitch I just have a camera dangling around my neck I just like to carry it all day long Makes me feel sassy, ho. Bitch, I don't understand why she asked that question. 
I had a fucking camera around my neck. How the fuck do you not see it? God damn. Oh, anyways. No, bro, that shit pissed me off. How the fuck do you not see a camera? Bitch, you is blind. Anyways, I was wandering around the room taking pictures until this one incident that actually was nasty, bro. My god, bro. Give this child some hope, power, and unclean his dirty ass mind. Cause nigga, you nasty. Bro, this is what happened, okay? <sighs> he walked up to me and said, Yo. Well, he didn't say yo, but he said, Can you get a picture of this for your book? Oh man, this bitch was nasty as fuck. You know what he showed me? Going through my elevated mindset, I was thinking, Bruh. Actually, I'm like, nigga, you better get your nasty ass, hentai drawing ass artwork out of my goddamn face for popping in your goddamn mouth. Cause, bitch, you is nasty. Bruh, when he showed me that picture, right, I gunned that shit. I fucking gunned that shit, bro. I walked, actually, I blazed out of that room. I don't give a damn if I fail your butt, cause I'm not taking a picture of a fucking drawing. With fucking titties, bitch. The real thing is better, bro. I swerved his nasty ass out of here. I got something to say. If you're watching this, whoever it was, nigga, you nasty. That's all I'm gonna say. You nasty. Little fuck. Where to begin? Out of all these stories, bro, I'ma tell you my first one. Cause this shit was dramatic as fuck. Nigga, I almost died. Got something to say. Alright. <sighs> if you don't know how to fucking swim, don't. You're fucked. Move on with life. Cause nigga, you dead. This is what happened. I was in the community pool. My dad took me. This nigga tried to teach me how to swim. I'm pretty damn sure he doesn't know how to swim either. Cause fuck, bro. This nigga just threw me in. He just threw me in, bro. I almost drowned that day. I almost fucking drowned. When I was in the middle of sinking, bro, I see him see me watch me drown. I gave him this look, right? I gave him this look. This look was, nigga, help me right now. This bitch looks the other way. He looked the other way. Bruh. How the fuck are you gonna look the other way? He was in a fuck you, fuck that bitch mood, alright? Damn, you know, when you experience a dramatic, almost life-threatening story, you will remember every fucking detail. This is the shit I remember. When I open my eyes in the middle of the water, there's some weird ass shit you gonna see. One, a kid was pissing in the pool. Of course, I'm not gonna lie, I've done it before, you have too, so don't fucking judge, too. I saw a water bug, bro, a water bug. I almost ate that shit like Tyler the Creator, man. Tyler the fucking Creator, bro, almost ate it. Out of all these possibilities, how did I get saved? Not by a hard ass lifeguard, but a kid. A six-year-old kid, man, with Barbie fucking floaties. He had Barbie fucking floaties on him. I lost my man car that day. I lost it. Never gonna get it back. That's my community bull story. This is my last story, I'ma say. Cause damn, I'm getting tired. It's in the fucking morning, man. I bet I sound weird as shit. Yolo swag, man. So, this story. Damn, this is the most embarrassing shit that happened to me. In geometry class, bro. You know what I hate, bro? Random fucking boners. Random fucking boners, man. I hate that shit. This one day, I don't know what fucking happened. But I guess my morning wood was still in action. 
Cause I don't I don't know what happened man But I do remember The teacher called me up And asked me to do a question on the board I sit in the back of the class Right And holy fuck I freaked the fuck out Cause you know why I got a fucking boner I have to walk up in the middle of class with a boner, bro. Ah, oh, god damn. Damn, that was so embarrassing, but this is what happened. I told her no because I had a boner, okay? I told her straight up no. She, she threatened me. She said detention. I'm like, go ahead. Go right fucking ahead because I don't give a fuck. I'm not going to tell my parents why I'm in detention. Uh, son, why are you in detention? I got a boner, dad. I got a fucking boner. You know why, right? I don't know back then in your generation, but this generation is all about spandex, yoga pants, leggings, all that shit. If you saw that, okay? If you fucking saw that with me, don't fucking blame me, I'm a guy, man. Shit. That fucking ass. Come on, say it with me. That ass. That ass. That motherfucking ass. But yeah, though, if you saw that ass, okay? If you saw that, at my age, be like, holy fuck, may have mercy on my soul. Like, bruh, booty worship that. Like, come on, draw to my fucking knees, cause damn, that ass. That hat. <laughs> yeah. Are you proud of me? Nigga, no. Anyways, I didn't want to explain that shit to my dad or mom. Shit would have been weird as fuck. So, she threatened to call my parents. The same scenario went through my head. I'm not gonna tell my parents I got a boner in the middle of class so oh man I walked up I walked up in front of the class when I was in the middle of walking my right leg okay my right leg was jumping fucking hurls okay this shit was high as fuck for my left leg Elevated state, bro. I was jumping fucking hurdles with one leg. That's how bad it was, okay? You know, the boner walk, okay? The boner walk. <laughs> that shit <laughs> is fucking embarrassing, man. I finally got my dick tucked under my thigh, okay? I don't know how that happened. I got skills, bitch. So... I'm pretty damn sure this girl saw me with a boner because she was blushing as shit. She was like, oh, yeah, bitch, that's my dick. Anyways, bro, to conclude this story, I didn't solve the problem because I'm a dumb fuck. And yeah, I had to call on a classmate and she's like, bro, help me out because I don't know what the fuck is going on. It was like, actually, yeah, I don't fucking know. That's my story. Should I do a part two? Because, yeah, I'm going to split up my stories because these stories are fucking long. Not my dick. All right. Anyways, guys, I'll catch you on the next one. If you like this content, bro, show me some love. Please like, fave, subscribe. Catch you on the next one. You sexy motherfucker.